Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting coding interview question video for you guys. Guys, this is a backtracking question called permutations in lead code, a medium level question asked in multiple companies like Google, Amazon, Facebook. Today we are going to solve it right here in this video. And guys, as you know that I do a lot of programming and coding related content. And if you like my content, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for future notifications. Also give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends as well. Apart from that, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for me, please put them in the comment section below. I would definitely address them as soon as possible. Now, without delaying this video any further, let's get started. So, first of all, the problem statement is called as permutations. And basically, guys, we are given an array of numbers and we have to create a list of all the permutations of those numbers. So for example, we have got numbers 1, 2 and 3. So basically there could be these many permutations of these numbers. So we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, right? So we have to return all possible permutations and we can return the answer in any order. Uh, there are multiple examples here guys. Basically pretty much easy to understand examples. The constraints are that the length of the number are from 1 to 6. That means the array can have a maximum six elements the value of the number is from minus 10 to plus 10 all the integers are unique so basically there will never be a situation when we will have you know duplicate numbers okay so this question could be solved with the help of a backtracking mechanism guys so let's jump into the solution so guys what we are going to do first first of all we are going to create the result set which we actually have to return so let me create a result list equals to new linked list and just simply declare this. Apart from that guys, we also have to create another linked list which we will initialize and uh, which we will initialize first of all with all the numbers and then we will start to permutate that, uh, that list. So list of integer, uh, this is going to be called uh, you know nums equals to new linked list and we are going to fill this nums linked list with all the number values so for integer n in nums nums dot uh, uh, nums list let's make it nums list so for integer n in nums add that number in nums list so nums list dot add new integer n so that becomes our nums list and also we will create another linked list which will hold the permutation of this nums linked list that is called as permutation equals to new linked list and these are our declarations guys uh, basically you can declare this here and now let's jump to the solution first of all we will create a method called as permute and in this method we are going to pass our nums list our permutations and the result linked list and finally we are going to return the result now let's create this permute function private void permute and in the permute function we are first of all passing the nums list let me take this nums list then we are passing the permutations so let's create the permutations and in the end we are passing the result so let's declare the variable result and now let's jump to the implementation of this function so because the permute function is going to be a recursive function, first of all, we have to find out the base condition of this function. So the base condition is going to be if this list is empty. So if this linked list is empty, what does that mean? That means that my permutations linked list is full of all the permutations. So what I'm going to do, I am just going to do result.add new a linked list of permutations permutations 
So I'm just going to create a copy of the permutation and add it inside the result set and return. This is my base condition. But if the nums list list, nums list is not empty, I am going to iterate it. So 0 to i less than nums list dot size dot size i plus plus. We are going to get the value of the number which is at ith position. So integer num becomes equal to num list dot get at ith position. Once we have got the number at the ith position, we are going to add it inside our permutation linked list because see all the numbers which are present inside the nums linked list have to be permuted, right? We have to create their permutations. So we are just going to pop one element out and put it inside the permutations linked list dot add num. And once we have added that number, we are going to remove that element from the nums linked list. So what we are going to do num dot remove the element at ith position. Once you have removed the element at ith position, now you will call the recursive permute function again. So that now we can permute the remaining elements of the nums linked list and put them inside the permutations. Okay. So once we have permuted the remaining elements, so once all the other elements are permuted, what's the next step? The next step is that we add that permuted element again back to my nums linked list. Uh, this has to be nums, uh, nums list. We add the removed element back to my nums linked list dot add the removed element at the ith position again and also because that number is already permuted and it is already added into our result set after the base condition was satisfied we will also remove it from our permutations so permutations also remove uh, that number okay so permutation also remove the uh, new integer num. Okay. So that's that's the thing, guys. Uh, first of all, we got the number uh, from the ith position. Then we added it into our permutations. Then we also removed it from our linked list. Then we permuted the rest of the numbers present in a nums list and once all the numbers are permuted then we add that number again back and we go to the next ith element okay. Then we add the number again back we go to the next ith element and also we remove that number from our permutations linked list as well because that is already permuted in our uh, in our sequence once okay. So that was the backtracking uh, recursive function. Let me remove the unnecessary spaces. And yes, guys, I think this function is ready to be run. Let's see if this actually runs properly or if we face any compilation issues. And no, guys, you can see that it runs pretty much perfectly. My answer does match the expected answer. The order could, could be a bit different. But uh, that doesn't matter. Basically, all the entries should be same. Let's submit this code, guys. Let's see if this actually works or not. And you can see, guys, that the submission result is acceptable. Let's go to the submission details. Um, and yes, guys, you can see that the runtime distribution and the memory distribution both are acceptable. Uh, so that was the solution guys. I hope you guys uh, learned something from it and uh, your coding practice became a little bit better. Uh, if it has then please I request you to do subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Hit the bell icon so you can get notifications. And as for my schedule I post here every day from Monday to Friday. Also guys if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback for me please put them in the comment section below. Uh, before going any uh, before going away please give this video a big thumbs up guys. I request you all share it with your friends. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Until then bye bye.